Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, yeah, this is where he dies. He dies because he, he uses his tongue. He, like, licks his face off, and then he... And then he puts on, yeah, he puts on the sunglasses. And then he, he just... So, you know, whenever you're in, like, elementary school and, like, there's this really big kid and you're playing dodgeball, right? And you're really small. And you just throw the ball as hard as you can at the big kid and you're like, oh, yeah, this is it, man. This is it. All the girls are going to love me after this. And then it does absolutely nothing and he just turns towards you and then you just die. That's exactly what just happened. He's like, oh. Oh. This is also how your grandpa looks at you when you tell him that you got straight A's. It's like, oh, good, good job, grandson. He ain't coming back in Rush Hour 3. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, he just blasted a hole through his face and stabbed him through the head. Good God. Okay. All right. Elite cameraman. I, I don't think I really need the analysis here, but hit me. Hello, everyone. Elite cameraman here. Today's episode was nuts, mind-blowing, and sick. No amount of words can describe my feelings. It really has been a crazy week and finally Titan TV man actually returned with his upgrades after all that time. And not gonna lie, he looks so goddamn majestic. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It looks like the definition of Jigga Chad. And don't get me. He said Jigga with a J. It's, it's Giga with a G. What? Started on his sword, the design. That's like saying GIF instead of GIF. Hey, man, let me show you a GIF. No, it's a GIF. It ain't no GIF. So good, but we'll get into that later in the video. Also, he actually killed Scientist Toilet with all his new abilities, but is the Scientist Toilet really dead? Where did. Uh, look, man, last I checked, if you get a hole blown in your face and stab through your skull with a sword, you're probably gonna die. You're probably dead. G-Man Toilet Go. What Away. happened to the Titan duo? What did the upgraded Titan TV man say to Scientist Toilet? What happened to Plunger Cameraman because he was there in the last part as well? We'll go over all this in today's video, but before we do that, make sure to like this video and let's Wait, try- Wait, did he hit a million subs yet? Oh my God, he did. He hit a million subs. Look at that. That's crazy. Dang. Try to get it to 100,000 likes to celebrate the return of Titan TV Man and the channel Dude, reached- he hit 100- Oh my god, he hit 100,000 likes too. Good god. 1 million subscribers. 
Thanks to all your support, we finally reached one of the biggest milestones on YouTube and got to 1 million subscribers in four months, which is crazy to think about. That is. But we are still just in the beginning, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a 1 million subscriber special video coming out this week, hopefully, so enable notifications. Anyways, here we go. I don't know where to start in this episode because it was filled with action and surprises, but the episode starts with the ending of episode 67, part 2. Yeah. And while we are talking about parts, Dafuk has revealed to me that episode 67, part 3 wasn't the ending of episode 67. He told me that episode 67 is not over yet and told me that Bro, I could share this like info. Episode 67, part 4, episode 67, part 5, episode 67, part 6, episode 67, part 67. He also went into Just Cozy's live stream while he was reacting to episode 67, part 3, and said the same thing there as well. So now it's 100% confirmed that there will... Wait, who's this guy? Why does he look so familiar? This guy looks familiar. ...will be a part 4 for episode 67, and we are still far away from episode 69. I have no idea what will happen on part 4 of episode 67. Bro, for the people in the chat saying it's GIF, I will slap you. It is literally GIF, okay? It stands for Graphics Interchange Format with a G, okay? Seven, ...but it's very possible that the special agents will arrive at the scene. And since it's part 4 and not episode 68, it should pick up from right when it ended, yeah. so there won't be any time skips. We'll talk about what might happen in the next episodes later in the video. Now let's get started with analyzing today's episode. The God. first 20 seconds are from part two, and there seems to be- Dude, I love, watch his face. Analyzing today's episode. He's the like, Boogle! <laughs> first 20 seconds are from part two, and there seems to be just one change, and it's the last frame of episode 67, part two. In part two, we saw the start of Titan Cameraman's head's explosion, and I actually mentioned that it wasn't fully cut yet. But in part three, Titan Speaker Man enters the scene before Titan Cameraman's head starts exploding, and he actually saves him from killing himself with his buzzsaw. Yeah. But while he is doing this, he accidentally damages his own core because he is trying to hold Titan Cameraman off. We can see Titan Speaker Man trying to push Titan Cameraman away, but it seems like when it comes to pure strength, Titan Cameraman is a tiny bit stronger unless Titan Speaker Man decided to back off because his core was being damaged. At this moment, the toilet duo is literally doing nothing, and G-Man Toilet is still yapping in the background. After he's got a, he's got a really wide nose, like kind of looks like a snake. You see that? After Titan Speaker Man backs off, Titan Cameraman goes back to trying to kill himself off. It's basically the same reason why the toilets flushed themselves in Episode 41 because of Titan TV Man's red beams. Scientist Toilet was able to recreate this himself and is using the same ability thus making Titan Cameraman kill himself. Titan Cameraman is a lot more strong. Dude, this... <laughs> I say this every time, but man, if you showed some grandma episode one of this and then you showed that same grandma this with like... Yeah, so uh, he got mind controlled to kill himself by cutting his head off with a buzzsaw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my grandson watches this, yep. Yeah. ...both physically and mentally, but even though this is the TV beam is so powerful that he has zero sense left in him. I guess without the lens protector, no camera is safe from these beams. Seeing this, Titan Speakerman pulls out his knife and cuts Titan Cameraman's arm off without any hesitation. If you look carefully, no matter what he is doing, Titan Cameraman can't look away from the TV and his vision is stuck there. And even after his arm is cut off, he still tries to kill himself now trying it with his other hand, punching himself in the head. This is a very sad and terrifying scene to look at, if I'm honest. Yeah. I can't imagine what he'll go through after he comes back to his senses, because this must have been a very painful experience for him. He's gonna need therapy. And suddenly, Scientist Toilet decides to change his TV beam to purple. If I'm honest, he probably had more TV beams other than these two, like the orange beam my hopefully future wife TV woman used in episode 49 to burn the toilet, and I'm... Not gonna lie, I would one versus one simp cameraman for her. Anyways, as I said, I think he had more beams, but it was destroyed before he could show it off. But we'll talk about that later in the video. Right after Scientist Toilet changes his beam, we get a pretty good look at Titan Speaker Man. This guy's great. Man, and he is clearly damaged. 
He really doesn't look well, but even with all this, he is still standing and trying to save his friend. This guy really outdid himself. We can see that he is burning. He has building pieces piercing through his body and his core is messed up. But he decides to put one of his knives on his speaker to shoot at Scientist Toilet's TV. Because you never back down, never what? Or never give up, never, never what, never back. Either way. And right when he was charging it up, G-Man Toilet suddenly shoots Titan Speaker Man with two of his lasers, distracting him. Titan Speaker Man suddenly decides to attack G-Man Toilet. He probably has no idea about what to do in this situation, and with all the damage and pain he might not be thinking straight, and while he was about to attack G-Man Toilet, the mind-controlled Titan Cameraman attacks him out of nowhere, knocking Titan Speaker Man down. And blood literally steps on Titan Speaker Man. That really wasn't cool of you, brah. We better get... <laughs> Bro, this guy, oh my god. Get a better lens protector for Titan Cameraman next time. <laughs> After this POV cameraman looks at G-Man Toilet, and we can see him laughing so confidently, but we all know that their expressions are about to change soon. The POV cameraman suddenly decides to pull his rocket launchers out and shoot Scientist Toilet, but they- Where did those come from? He just pulled those, like, out of, like, where did he have those stocked up at? They literally have no effect on the TV monitor. But I commend you, brother. We should all thank this POV cameraman for his courage in this scene. Scientist Toilet turns his smirky face to the POV, but suddenly his TV monitor gets destroyed out of nowhere, and the look on his face is a priceless scene. It's, look, 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 what, this is the face of a grandpa who just realizes he pooped his diaper. Watch. TV monitor gets destroyed out of nowhere, and the look on his face is a priceless scene. He is both shocked and terrified at the same time, because that's no fart. That's my diaper. Cheryl, I think I pooped my diaper again. Get the Kleenexes. He knows that the protection of this monitor is crazy good. Two rockets just hit it and literally made no scratches on the TV monitor, but now it's completely destroyed. This also a new cracked screen look instead of the one that was used in episode 47 when Titan TV Man was stabbed by Titan Speaker Man. The look on Scientist Toilet was actually leaked two days ago on Defook Boom's merch store, and we knew something was up. And I also mentioned in my leaks video that the TV monitor wasn't there, and I guess Defook decided to remove it on the leak because it was cracked and destroyed at this point. Yeah, it makes the sense. The camera pans to the right too fast, but right at this same scene we also could see G-Man Toilet being scared as well. Even though it's impossible to understand, Defook Boom sent this as a leak 50 minutes before the episode came out. And in the video, we can literally see G-Man toilet shaking. We also get to see the Titans, and Titan Cameraman falls down since he is no longer being controlled, and we have no idea how much damage he endured. But one thing is for sure, I don't think we are going to see Titan Cameraman for a long time after- Wait, yo, I got such a great idea. I got such a great idea. Y'all know in Dragon Ball Z, when they do the fusion ha, right? They go like, fusion ha, yeah, bro. Imagine- if like final battle, right? All the Titans like fuse together and make like a giant Kaiju transformer. Bro, that'd be so epic. After this point, because the upgrades and restoration will take quite some time. I have no idea how long Titan Speakerman will need, but he seems to be at least conscious and still standing. But all that aside, this was the exact point where the episode really started and where we finally have gotten what we have been waiting for months now. The return of Titan TV Man. Yeah. A huge black smoke appears out of nowhere with white lights coming out of it, and suddenly, Titan TV Man says, Your life ends now, in reverse. Here you go, listen to it yourself. Now that you heard it yourself, I won't go over his other lines until he says them all because after the episode came out, Defook sent me an audio file containing Titan TV Man's lines without all the background sound effects since it was very hard to understand this time. But after that, someone called Sky Factorial sent a video to my Discord. I have no idea who made this. It might be Sky Factorial, but whoever did this literally sound engineered and made every line sound like normal and it's very clear what Titan TV Man says. But I'll show you all this closer to the end of the video. 
while Titan TV. What does he say? Is it like, <laughs> bro, imagine, imagine if everyone's like, oh, what did he say? And you reverse it and it's just like, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> B-Man is being teleported, G-Man Toilet says some stuff to Scientist Toilet while being very scared because he stops in the middle of his sentence and literally escapes while screaming. Blood left his companion on the spot without any care. If Scientist Toilet knew this would happen, he probably never would have kissed G-Man Toilet like he did in the troll leaks. Life must be tough when your best buddy leaves you like this. After th Dude, this is... I, I look forward to this every, like, weekend, dude. This, Scientist Toilet still looks very scared, <laughs> but he knows that his only option is to fight, so oh he starts getting ready. I thought he was actually going to teleport here because black smokes start coming out under him, but I still have no idea what they were for. He the farted. POV cameraman suddenly turns to his right, and we get our first glimpse of upgraded Titan TV man starting with his purple sword attached to his right arms. It looks so cool, and it does seem like he might have some electricity or lightning powers because they keep coming from everywhere. Yeah. He walks out of the black smoke with his new majestic body and upgrades, and scientist toilet tries to shoot him with rockets, but as you can guess, they literally don't do anything. Upgraded Titan TV man comes in without any mercy and slashes Scientist Toilet's upgrade starting from his right side to the left. We can see that Scientist Toilet is speechless and literally is frozen in fear. Titan TV man also gets rid of the knockoff TV and starts using the red TV beam and if you look carefully while he is using this, all the monitors come out. And it really seems like blood was there to clap Scientist Toilet. I don't... I thought he was gonna... Dude... I thought he was about to say something else, man. Oh my God. That, that would have taken a, a wild turn. I don't know if you know this or not, but there were actually some troll leaks that Dafuk shared himself on Discord, and it was It's the Roblox face, dude. <laughs> it's the Roblox face, dude. Literally Titan TV man returning with a man face from Roblox and clapping scientist toilet and exploding. Oh. oh, you know how I said that th this, this is, this, it happened. It happened. I'm just, let's just, let's just, let's just go. Just, um, <clears throat> oh, oh, he clapped scientist toilet. You should clap. Someone in the chat said that would have been so much better. No, bad timeout. Go to timeout. The like and subscribe button unless you want to be hit with the scientist toilet recoil. Also, the design in the troll leaks kind of gave away the real design because we could see. Okay. And as I said in my okay. last video, DeFuke okay. said that this troll okay. leak was okay. not okay. NSFW because Titan TV man actually had some upgrades on the crouch area after okay. the upgraded okay. Titan TV. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Okay. Man uses his yeah, looks at him yeah, and yeah, says yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. with okay. the TV man and his upgrades. His biggest upgrades are his head monitor and his right arm. We can see that his head monitor can now extend to both directions to increase the output. And he also has some bars sticking out behind his head. These might be antennas to increase his reach, but I'm not <laughs> sure since it's our first time seeing I think they just look cool. It. They also look like a crown, literally symbolizing that Titan TV man is the king of this place. We saw that he is the most powerful entity probably after Secret Agent, at least compared to entities we've seen so far. Also, if you look at his hands, he has some blades to increase his damage upon punching someone, and he also has some type of protection or output increaser on his core now. He also got his shoulder blades back, which were cut in episode 47. This really is the best design so far, but my favorite part is the blade he has. I have one question though. It reminds me of uh, Optimus Prime. Um, where, where, what, what was, where, where is it? Um, not, not that, not the stupid sword, the, yeah, this, this one, this one right here, look. This right here, when, whenever he pulls the sword out of his arm, like right there, like, boom! Reminds me of that. Boom!
What shot the TV monitor that scientist toilet used because that was like a gunshot and we can't see anything similar on Titan TV, man? Maybe it's an upgrade we haven't seen yet. But nonetheless, after Titan TV man says something to Scientist Toilet, he pierces his blade through Scientist Toilet's head, but we don't see any blood coming out, and once he pulls it out, it's clear that he is fully mechanic. And even though he was stabbed through the head and has a freaking hole inside his head, he is still alive. This could mean two things. He either was never a real human, or he still has a human body somewhere else. I think it's the second option because we have seen Scientist Toilet as a normal toilet before, and he suddenly got big afterwards, and I honestly don't think that Scientist Toilet is fully dead, even though this version is dead. I think he has a body somewhere else, and he might actually- No, I think he's gotta be dead. They already pulled the, uh, actually it wasn't the real one. Like, uh, you, you can't pull that twice. They already did that once with the G-Man toilet. You can't do it again. He's gotta be dead. Have more robotic bodies around the world, which shares Every his- Every time you kill one of the big bad guys, you can't be like, no, nah, actually, that was a fake one. Actually, that was a fake one. Consciousness, that might be the reason why he is able to show up literally everywhere all the time, but- I'm not sure. One thing I'm certain is he wasn't scared enough for someone that's about to die for good. He seemed like he knew this wasn't the end for him, which is very scary to think about. And also don't forget that this version had a red eye. Maybe that was an indicator for us. I don't think this scientist was an imposter, but I think it was a clone he made for himself. Maybe that's why his right eye was red. I guess we'll learn the truth later in the series. After piercing through his head, Titan TV Man starts getting ready for one of the craziest special abilities we have seen on the series so far. But before I talk about that, while I was re-watching the episode, it just dawned on me that Titan TV Man's blade looked familiar, and it actually looks similar to the orange blade. What did I say? What did I say, man? What did I say? Autobots, roll out. Optimus Prime uses. I don't know if this was a coincidence or if Defuk took inspiration, but it fits perfectly. But let's get back to the episode. Titan TV man starts charging up. Dude, that scene, this is completely irrelevant. But dude, that scene at the end of Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon, whenever Optimus Prime comes back and he's like, I'll kill you all. And then he just like pulls out the sword and just like kills everybody. Oh my God. Up his core suddenly and scientist toilet is not even trying to do anything. And once the core is charged up, upgraded Titan TV man uses his core laser and literally melts scientist toilet's face off. This laser probably is the strongest laser in the series so far because we've seen G-Man Toilet's new lasers, Scientist Toilet's new laser, and Titan Speaker Man's core laser, and none of them can come close to this. Blood's face literally is gone after getting lasered for a few seconds. After this, Titan TV Man looks at the POV cameraman and says his last words in this episode while making a cute face. This really shows the duality of man. This guy just melted someone's face off and now he is making this face. But before we get into what he said in this episode, there are a few questions we have to ask. Okay. What happened to Plunger Cameraman? Because as you guys know, he was there in part two, and he was knocked he out instantly. He died. And we haven't seen him in this episode. My guess would be that special agents will arrive in the next episode and save him. But what will happen to the Titan duo? Because they need to get repaired as soon as possible. We also have the question of, where did G-Man Toilet go because he just came back and blood dipped? I think he might come back sooner than we think with some backup because, as we all know, this place is the base of Skibidi Toilets, and I don't think they would give up that easily. Now let's get to what Titan TV Man actually said. Some of his lines were very clear, but especially the short ones were a little distorted because of the background sound effects and such, and Defuk has sent me this file so that you guys can hear it more clearly. Starting with his last line, he said, That's all at the end of the video. At least that's what I think. Here you go, listen to it yourself. After this, we have the line he said after using the red beams on Scientist Toilet. And he said, still alive? And here you go, listen to it yourself. After this, we have the line he said right before coming out of the black smoke. And he said, where are you going? Here you go. Bro, they gotta get the guy that voices Optimus Prime to do this. Dude, that'd be so epic. Like, oh my god. 
I'm not going to go over the first line again since I already made you listen to that, but he said, your life ends now, in the beginning. At least these are my guesses since nothing has been confirmed by Defouque. But as I said in the beginning, someone on my Discord sent this and I still have no idea how he did it. Blood might be working for the FBI because this is too perfect. Listen to it yourself and you'll understand. Bro, that's creepy. That's creepy. This episode was really crazy and certainly one of the best episodes so far. And don't forget that episode 67 is not done yet and we'll most likely be getting more of Titan TV Man next episode. If you want to see more of Titan TV Man, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And if you want to see more of Titan TV Woman, hit that subscribe button.